Hey guys, this is Aaron from Geeky Lemon Development and welcome to Xcode Tricks and Tips. And in this video I'll be showing you some basic shortcuts to help you save time when developing. Now some of these shortcuts I'll be showing you are universal throughout many applications and programs throughout the Mac, such as the save feature and the copy and paste feature. But many are unique to Xcode and I'll be showing you a handful of them today. And also, if you want the full list of all the shortcuts, head over to our website. The link will be in the description below to take you there. So make sure you go check that out after watching this video. So the first thing I'm going to show you is how to bring up a new project. So if you press Command, Shift and N, this brings up the view where we're able to create a new project and start from scratch. So if I quickly create a new project, Head over to one of our view controllers and then start by typing out an IV outlet. So by doing this I can show you the copy and paste feature and the save, undo and redo feature. So I'm going to do a label and we're doing the same process as we would do within the tutorials. So once we type out our first label, if you want a second label to quickly do it rather than type it all out again, you can simply copy the line of the label, press Command C, and then on the next line press Command V, and this will bring up the exact line we copied. Now the next part we'll need to do is obviously change the label name so there's no conflictions between the two lines. Now after we type out our code, if you want to save our project and resume it later on in the day, or another day perhaps, you can press Command S. Now this saves our project in its current state to the destination where it was created. So for example in this project the destination we created it to was on the desktop, so it saves it all back onto the file on the desktop. Now if we made a mistake, such as we didn't want that second line, you can simply undo it by pressing Command Z now as the number 2 is the only thing that got deleted is because the last thing we entered. So we press it once more which will get rid of our line. But then after that if you feel they've gone too far or you've deleted too much you can bring it back by doing command shift z and that brings back the line and if you want to bring back the number 2 just press it once more and it brings it all back all together. So that's basic universal stuff that will work in many other programs on the Mac. Now if you go into the point in your application where you're ready to build it, just to see if there's any errors or any problems with the application, press Command B and this will build your application as it is now. And it will tell you if the build succeeded or if it didn't and then it will show you if any errors occurred. Now if you want to clean your project, just to simply get rid of any big chunks of memory that are hanging around in your project, press command shift and the letter K and this will clean your project and again show if any errors occurred and at the moment the clean succeeded. And if you think your project is ready to be tested on your device you can simply press command and R and this will run the application on the selected device up here or the simulator you've selected it to. And now in time, after your application has progressed, you'll eventually start to add new features, and by doing that, we need to add new files. So if we press Command and then the letter N, this will bring up our template view, where you like to select such things as an Objective-C class, a UI view controller, or other interfaces for your application. And if I quickly add a UI view subclass, And once that's added into our project, you can see it's placed straight at the top. So if you want to categorize it, simply by adding a new group, we can do Command, Alt and the letter N. This adds a new group here, where we can highlight all our new classes and place them into our group, so it's more organized. And once we finish using Xcode, just make sure you Command S, save your project, and then Command Q to create Xcode. 
So that's a few basic shortcuts to use while developing applications in Xcode. They will simply help you do certain tasks quicker than it would do by clicking around with the mouse. Now there is many, many shortcuts for Xcode. The full list will be on our website. Just simply click the link in the description. Now make sure you go check them out as there is some very, very useful shortcuts out there. And I hope this video helps on your first steps to becoming a better developer. So thanks for watching this video. Make sure you like it, favorite it, and make sure you leave us a great comment if you want to suggest any tutorials or any tricks and tips you know yourself to us. But thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe, and I'll see you all in our next video. Hey guys, Aaron here. Please support us by liking us on Facebook, following us on Twitter, and checking out all our apps by simply searching Geeky Lemon on the App Store. And make sure you visit our website where we have a full list and full source code for all our tutorials. And visit our blog, forums and all the other great features we have to offer on our website.